the new year, and we're all looking out on the new vistas we're about to conquer in 2014, and I've made a little list of things. It's very listy tonight. I don't know what it's about. Let's get organized. <laughs> so here I just have my little resolutions that I'm going to talk to you about and see if maybe they can inspire you to live a more fruitful life, shall we say? Fruitful. <laughs> Definitely on grinder too. <laughs> Turn faggot into a bird. <laughs> Hear me out. I want you all to start twittering. You know, I'm just faggoting through my day. <laughs> what did you do last night? Just faggoted around the house. What <laughs> would that be? What are you up to the next few days? apologizing on Grindr. I'm that guy. I say hello, and then if you don't respond, I say sorry for bothering you. <laughs> like I knocked on their door, like I'm some weird Jehovah's Witness. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want to hear about the good news? Oh, okay. Next one. I'm going to confess three secrets on stage tonight, and every show from now on. in my 20s. A whore. And not even a smart whore, because I never got paid. I never, was, I never got busted. I was the you've come all this way girl. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, that subway ride must have been treacherous, especially with the hunchback. You should come in and I can blow you. Easily. Easily. Of course, I must fillet you, sir. What travels you have made. Slept with anything, anywhere. I literally got to know the metro map by fucking guys in different neighborhoods. I know where to transfer because it's like, oh, I got chlamydia there. Time to go. F train doesn't come here. Uh, <laughs> no. good enough, I'm good enough hints when you need to know about the subway because I have bored all over this. <laughs> Number two. I didn't believe women died until I was 11 years old. I don't... I thought women just continued and men died. Because I'd only seen men get shot in war movies, and I thought ladies were just princesses. And then I saw a movie where a lady died, and I was very upset, and I said to my grandmother, Women die? She's like, if there's any justice. <laughs> And number three, and I have said this publicly, but I will say it again, that the sole reason I believe I am hom a homosexual is that I don't think I can imagine doing something as horrible to sex as sex to a woman. Let's repeat that. I don't believe that I could do something as horrible as sex to a woman. That's why I can't watch straight for porn, because all those ladies get jostled around and get called a bitch, and I get very upset. <laughs> That's a lady. She's a princess. <laughs> Now, some 22-year-old twin coming in, he deserved to be hammered through all this. <laughs> Skin him and wear him as a pelt out And I'd be like, eh, he was probably asking for it. <laughs> it's true. Wow, we're really getting personal. Huh? Okay, this is a personal one, but um, the next time I see a twink in a bar wearing a t shirt, which reads, the 80s were awesome, I promise I will not throw my drink in his face. <laughs> or attempt to set him on fire, both of which I did, and I'm never allowed a barrage again. <laughs> but I will encourage a dialogue about why some of us might find that shirt a little offensive. The 80s were not awesome for a lot of people. <laughs> I promise that the next 
next time there is a debate amongst my friends about pronouns, I'll just be bored and leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of staying in the room and being bored. Because <laughs> eventually I just want the shorthand. What, so what do you want me to call you? What, what do? Because I love you and I'll call you whatever you want. You just can't have your own pronoun because that defeats the purpose of pronouns. <laughs> that not all men respond well to her or she as a pronoun. <laughs> Especially my father this Christmas. <laughs> he wouldn't change the channel. <laughs> my mother said, what's wrong with him? I don't know, she's in one of her moods. <laughs> an uncomfortable dinner that night. <laughs> If I'm masculine on Grinder, I will respond, my unicorn thinks so. <laughs> I will remember and remind everyone that February 15th is National Bottom Appreciation Day. It's the day after Valentine's Day. Think about that, ladies. Send somebody a bagel basket, because they deserve it. <laughs> She's such a bottom. Good? Thank goodness. We need them. They're our, they're our natural resource. They're